This song is called Beautiful Soldier, and it's the ending theme for the summer 2017 anime, Classroom of the Elite. I find it unusually fitting, being a somewhat hypnotic song, very similar to most of the soundtrack of this anime. A lot of people have opinions on this show, and I find it understandable. The show is very flawed in many ways, but that doesn't mean the show is without any good aspects. So today, let's talk about Classroom of the Elite and Escapism. Let's be honest with each other. The escapism genre has recently gotten a pretty bad rap, especially in anime. That's mostly to do with most escapism fantasies being self-insert shows about a character who does nothing and becomes all-powerful. Granted, there are a few shows that are exceptions to this rule, but this won't be my argument for today, since Iona Koji-kun is a self-insert character. I think the main flaw people often make about shows like this is that if it's self-insert, it's automatically bad. But let's be honest, that's a pretty toxic way of looking at art. Most people came into watching Classroom of the Elite with this bias and left without giving it a proper chance to draw you in. And that is what is truly amazing about this show. If I had to describe Classroom of the Elite in one word, it would be hypnotic. The show's entire focus is about drawing you into this mysterious world and letting you build your own story around it. The show takes advantage of the art style along with the music to slowly lull you into this otherworldly thinking, and it's extremely successful. The gorgeous backdrops look utopian, and each characters have these massive multicolored eyes that draw you in even further. Even the music is often repetitive to slowly lull you into this world the author has built. Another key thing the author does is that they give you almost nothing to go off of. There is no backstory to be given, and we only see small glimpses of the outside world before the anime begins. By having this weird and mysterious world, we fill in these gaps that were intentionally left all by ourselves. We slowly get lost in the world of the academy, and the way it's achieved is incredible. This is definitely one of the show's strongest points, but nevertheless, I won't pretend that this is something truly unique to this show. I can personally list off a ton of shows that were able to accomplish this feat also, and I consider most of them to be mediocre at best. So what separates Classroom of the Elite from these other escapism fantasies? Commitment. There's a reason why I waited to put this video up until after the show had concluded. A lot of the shows that I thought of have strong premises, but never commit to their ideals. When I first started watching this show, I immediately thought, how long? How long until the main character becomes some godlike entity? How long until this show turns into some fan service harm? How long until they throw away this gorgeous atmosphere they've built? And for the first time in a long time, I can finally say, never. The show commits to this world that they built throughout the entire season and never once lose sight of it. Thanks to this, the show is enjoyable and never really feels like it's cutting any corners to help sell merchandise. The show is immersive in that sense, and it goes out of its way to make me forget that this is just an anime. Which leads me to the last thing I want to talk about, the self-insert character, Ayana Koji-kun. The author intentionally created him to be a self-insert character, but still heavily limits what he's capable of doing. Ayana Koji is definitely a genius, but he doesn't abuse his powers. Well, there is one exception, but let's make that a footnote because we'll be coming back to that. I think the point of Ayana Koji is that he has very similar powers to what us, the audience, has while watching the anime. He has further knowledge of what is going on in his surroundings, but as I said earlier, he rarely uses that to influence a narrative. This is to help us push ourselves onto Ayana Koji, because at no point in the anime do we ever mistakenly say, what the hell are you doing? We understand his motives for the most part, because he has more in common with the audience members than his actual classmates. Either way, I think this is a good time for us to return to the footnote I made earlier for the one occasion he does abuse his powers. The final episode. Ayana Koji basically pulls an ex machina and wins the game for seemingly no reason, which is completely out of character. I was caught off guard by this until the last scene of the anime concluded, which I don't exactly want to spoil, but it's basically an incredible plot twist on the character revealing that he is, in fact, very different from what we had previously expected. 
thus finally giving us Ayana Koji's true motives, which align all of his previous actions up perfectly. Thus keeping the audience in this lull for essentially the entire season, only to slap us in the face with this last episode. This is something I honestly didn't expect, but the ending of this show heavily improved my opinion of it. By this time the narrative, I had assumed I knew where the show was going, but the writer threw in this last plot twist and really gave the show a solid and memorable ending. I think there's nothing objectively wrong with the self-insert style of storytelling. If it's done right, it can lead to an incredibly enjoyable show. Granted, I'm not worshipping Classroom of the Elite because the show definitely has a lot of problems mostly following characters and the narrative itself. But nevertheless, the show is still pretty amazing and, in my opinion, is one of the best escapism pieces we have in the anime medium. But what separates Classroom of the Elite the most is that it does something that most anime are incapable of, and that is being committed to their ideals. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and an extra special thank you to all of my patrons. If you're interested in supporting my channel while also receiving some awesome perks, I have a link to my Patreon in the description. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Man Man Matt. Make sure you guys say man, go watch that goddamned anime! <laughs>